Huel and Taryn, this guy claims he's not a lone wolf, but he won't give up who else is in the pack. The lady who notarized these deeds isn't howling either. This is George Booth's house. We've had it like in the family for almost 100 years. This is a quick claim deed from 2017 transferring George's house to someone his family doesn't know. What's George got to say about it? Nothing. That's him, George Booth. This is him. Yeah, George died in 2015, two years before he supposedly signed this document. That's not his signature, clearly, because he's not here. I'm going to take you on an adventure into Dirty Deed Land, a place where the notaries seem to forget their notes. Tell them to, I mean, I'm not being on TV or nothing like that, am I? And the guy who seems to be knee-deep in deeds denies he's the top deed dog. So you're just a totally innocent party here? I, I didn't say that. This is a deed that started Rhonda's nightmare. Well, we discovered it when we were trying to get um, a loan to help finish our renovations on the house. According to Rhonda, her grandfather George left the house to the family when he passed away in 2015. But according to this deed, George Booth signed the house away to a company called Masback LLC. The deed had been changed, and they said my dad has signed the deed. That's George's daughter, Donna. She knows the signature is a fake because her father, George, was dead when it was signed and notarized. Then, out of curiosity, Donna looked at another house that had been left to her in a family inheritance. This house on Granville Street. To her shock, that house had been quick claim deeded to a company called Wayne County Community LLC. And it's signed by, of all people, Donna herself. And it's not my signature and I did not sell it. Both these deeds were notarized by a licensed notary public named Cordia Pennington. They just told me don't say nothing, let the attorney say Who told you don't say nothing? I'll introduce you to Cordia in a bit. Both Masback, the company George supposedly quick claimed his house to, and Wayne County Community, the company Donna supposedly signed her house over to, are companies with Jack Wolf as a registered agent. Now, have you tried to contact this Jack B. Wolf? We've tried to. And what, was, what does he say? Nothing. So, who is this Jack Wolf? That's him, yelling on the phone to someone, sitting in an SUV that's registered to a dead guy. And it's a different dead guy than George Booth. Hmm. Kind of suspicious, and Jack has a suspicious past. Attorney discipline board documents show he was once a lawyer, who got suspended and never got his license back. He was also the CEO of a company called Loan Giant, which was shut down by the State Office of Financial and Insurance Services in 2004 because of a pattern of fraud, deceit, and material misrepresentation. And the U.S. Attorney's Office filed a complaint against Jack and his company for violations of the False Claims Act. The company was ordered to pay millions in restitution. Jack B. Wolf was personally ordered to pay $183,000. Wonder if he paid. I'll ask him, but first I gotta find out about George Booth supposedly signing this deed over after he was dead. So you didn't approve this? I have no idea what that is, and, that, and I told him that it has to stop. That's my name on it, I don't want my name on these things. They, Who told you this? They had a form of, of a quick claim deed they wanted, I'll give them a form of a quick claim deed. Who did? The, the people who are owners of Mass Mass Jack just said he doesn't know what that is. Now he says the deed form was accidentally sent to whoever the anonymous owner of Masback is. There, I said, listen, this can't go on. You can't. If I get, you ask for a form, and this accidentally was sent to you, I, I'm, not, I'm not preparing these things. You can't. So who's in who's in charge of Masback? Who did this? You need to do your further research, and you'll figure it out. Yeah, problem is, at the time of this confrontation, the only name and address listed with Masback is Jack Wolf's. Let's move on to the deed where Donna supposedly signed her house over to another company with only Jack Wolf's name and address on the paperwork. Here's another one. Exact same thing. But this one doesn't go to Masbach. This goes to Wayne County Community LLC. Isn't that your company? No. Whose company is that? Don't know. I might, I might have organized it for them. Yeah, I think you are. Okay, so I, I, they, they pay me to set the company up, so I, I, I set it up. Who runs that company? Jack won't say. Maybe I'll have better luck with Cordia Pennington, the lady who notarized the deeds. I could talk to you, but I don't want—I don't even know what's going on. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you. So, I can't do this. Okay, hang on. Hold on. Let me ask you about. Hold on, Cordia. Now I haven't even told Cordia what I want to talk to her about, but she sure has an idea. I don't know what's going on about something that was notarized. And that was two years ago, and I try to remember. I okay, so this, see so this is this is. This is the paper, right? Yeah. And see, you notarized it in 2017. Well, that's I your notary know. stamp, right? And that's your signature? Yes. So who do you do that notary for? 
I was with a mortgage company, and this is what we was notarizing the mortgage people. The, the, um, so this guy right here, this George Booth guy, do you remember him? To be honest, 2017, I don't. Yeah. And well, you wouldn't remember because he's dead. Cordia goes inside and makes me wait, and she changes right. her story. What mortgage company did you work for? What do you mean? I didn't work for a mortgage company. She's never worked for a mortgage company. Oh, I thought she said she did. No. When I get back to the station, I start thinking about something Jack B. Wolf said. I've been sued. Yeah. You can, all you got to do is go to Wayne County, you'll see I've been sued. That's funny because even though Donna and Rhonda hired an attorney, they haven't filed suit yet. But I found someone who has. Jack Wolf is certainly in the middle of this somewhere. Mark Pierce represents Tom, who has owned this commercial building in Corktown since the 80s. Tom came to us because these people were putting eviction notices on his property. And guess whose name was on the eviction papers? Very first time when they left that piece of paper with a phone number, it said Jack. Yep, it happened to Tom, too. He says somebody forged his signature on a quit claim deed, giving his property to an entity known as West Cork LLC. Registered agent, Jack Wolf. Attorney David Gukasian says the defendants were fighting the case until all of a sudden... We received an order from West Cork and the other defendants, their attorney basically conceding to our position that the deed which was filed was, in fact, void. This change of heart happened just days after I'd spoken to Jack Wolf. All we know is we got Tom's property back, and we think you helped. A few days later, I go back to Cordia's house, but she won't even get out of her car. To be honest, I, the less I know, the better I feel. Oh. Right, but the more I know, the better I feel. And one thing I know, Jack B. Wolf probably isn't a fan of mine. So you've been in trouble before, right? State gives loan giant cease and All desist right, order. Like right? That's your thing, right? Oh, we don't want to make it seem like I'm walking away, but I think that's like, like a low blow, but go ahead. So you were involved in a mortgage scam? Not really. But you... Not really? No. Okay, so they sued you. Yeah. You had to pay a $183,000 judgment. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you guess so? Uh, I... Did you pay it? I don't believe so. So why don't you pay it? Um, the fact of the matter, I don't have the money to do it. By the way, why are you driving a car that belongs to a dead guy, that's registered to a dead guy? Uh, it happened to be a house I bought, and, and he sold me the house. I just... So if you're buying a house, how come you can't pay back that $183,000 judgment? I, I, I bought a house in, in, in a way that was and made me... Uh, Hiding your better. assets? Is that what you're doing? Well, kind of. Looks like a hided asset thing, I guess, maybe. Now, the same week I confronted Jack Wolf about the deeds, the registered agent's name was changed on Masbach's filing with the state. I looked all over for the person named, but I couldn't find him. Jack Wolf called me and promised he would basically deliver me the person responsible for the deeds, but Jack never called me back and never answered when I called him.